The words Bhagavata Dharma and Bhagavato are actually derived from Buddhism and the Pali language. The archaic extant attestation of the words Bhagavato and Bhagava comes from Buddhism and the Pali language, such as the Buddha's prayer, Namo Tassa Bhagavato Arahato Sama Sambhadhasa. And the meaning of the word God does not correspond to Bhagava, rather it refers to a person who has melted away attachment, destroyed pride, destroyed sorrow, Pali's Bhagavan or Bhagvant is made up of two words, Bhag plus Van. Bhag in Pali means, to dissolve, to break, to divide. And van means holder, craving etc. Means the one who has dissolved his desires is Bhagava. There are many examples in the Pali texts defining the term Bhagavan or Bhagava for the Buddha. Bhagaragodi Bhagava, the one who, broke the attachment, that, Bhagava, Bhagadasodi Bhagava, the one who, has dissolved the malice, that, Bhagava, Bhagamohodi Bhagava, Bhagmanodi Bhagava, Bhagakilasodi Bhagava, Bhavanam Antakarodi Bhagava, Baragandakodi Bhagava, the one who, has dissolved the illusion, destroyed the pride, destroyed the sorrows, destroyed the samskaras, destroyed the thorns, that, Bhagava, there are many such examples in which the word Bhagava has been, well defined, Bhavitkeo Bhavitsalo Bhavichito Bhavitpajodi Bhagwa, means the one who has mastered the body, modesty, mind and wisdom, that, Bhagava, the word Bhagava is also synonymous with pride and dignity, Bhagvati Garvat Hivakanam. The words Bhagya means fortunate are also derived from the word Bhagava. The word Bhagavan is also used with Buddha in the sense of making people a partner in his achievement. The word Bhagavan is also synonymous in the sense of being a participant in higher attainments. Bhavi va Bhagwa Shatanam Jananam Chituna Apamanam Shatanam Arapasama Patananti Bhagwa means, the one, who is the partaker of the four meditations, the four immaterial meditations. The four formless meditation properties, he, is the Bhagava, all these examples explain and define the word Bhagava from different points of view, which have completely different meanings from today's popular meaning of the word Bhagava, hatred does not calm hatred, enmity is pacified by friendship, this is the Dhamma of Buddha, imasimum item hodi, imasimum asadi item na hodi, means this will happen if this happens. This will not happen if this doesn't happen, this is the Dhamma of Buddha, Buddha has often said in his teachings for Dhamma, es damo sanantano, this is the eternal religion, that is, the eternal truth, eternal rules, Buddha has called them Dhamma. On the other hand, the meaning of the word Bhagava in Hinduism is something else, this word is used to describe God or Ishavara, therefore, we can understand that the word Bhagava in Pali language is an important word for Buddhism which is actually used as an authority of self-restraint and satyagraha, whereas, in Hinduism this word is used to describe God.